Hey there, you're watching Wildflower Video Tips. I'm Lindsay Moe, and today I'm going to show you how to fix overblown iPhone footage in Premiere Pro. Recording video on your phone is becoming so much more popular, and if you have an iPhone, you've probably noticed in the last few years that things are a little different, especially if you use Premiere Pro to edit. The problem is iPhone introduced HDR video on their iPhone 12 and above. HDR stands for high dynamic range, and it does give you more detail and better looking video in high contrast situations. However, when you bring that footage into Premiere Pro, you've probably noticed that you end up with a very overblown image. What's happening is Premiere Pro isn't set up to handle this high dynamic range color space. Of course, you could just use a different program to edit, such as iMovie, but as you know, I love Premiere and there's plenty of ways to work around this, so I wanted to share with you three super easy ways that you can fix your overblown iPhone footage in Premiere Pro, and each one only takes under a minute. Your first option is to just turn off HDR video on your iPhone. Doing this will record it how you always normally have, and you won't run into this problem in Premiere. To do this, simply open up your settings, scroll down to camera, select record video, and then scroll down and turn off the toggle for HDR video. If you enjoy having HDR video on your phone for other reasons, you may want to remember to turn this back on, but it's totally fine to leave this off as a standard setting. Your second option is to simply use an older version of Premiere. Premiere didn't start having this problem until 2022, so you could go back and either open up or re-download the 2021 or earlier version. Certainly there are bugs and problems with each and every different version, so consider this when deciding which version you'd like to use. The final solution does take a little more time, but it's still so easy and quick that this is the solution I've been using, which is to modify the way that Premiere interprets your footage. I have two clips here that I wanna show you. One is recorded with HDR video on, and the other is recorded with HDR video off. If you ever wanna know what color space your footage is in, you can always right click or control click on that footage in your project window and go down to properties and here you can see that the color space for this clip is rec 709 if i look at the hdr video on it is in rec 2100 hlg let's open up the hdr video in the source monitor you can see it's not 100 percent where i would want it to be i would want to do a little color correction on this. The pink isn't quite as vibrant as I want it to be, but you can see a lot of detail in the white compared to here. You can still see detail in the white and the pink is much more vibrant. If I pull my HDR video into my timeline, it looks the same as it does in my source monitor. However, if I export it, Now you can see this footage is extremely overblown, oversaturated, not how we would want it to look. By comparison, if I bring my footage in with the HDR off, again, you can see it looks pretty much the same as it does in the source monitor. And when I export this, it is not overblown. It looks a little dull. I would still want to color correct this and fix the exposure. But you can definitely see it is preferable to this overblown footage. If you are going to do any color correction or fixing of the exposure, I recommend doing that before you modify your footage so that you can see exactly how it's going to look when you export it. To fix our overblown footage, we're going to go 
and right click or control click on that clip in the project window and go down to modify interpret footage. From here all the way at the bottom you can see we are in color space rec 2100 hlg we're going to click color space override and choose rec 2020. Now you can see that made this look a little more dull in the program monitor that's why you would want to do your color correction first but if we export this now Now we have footage that is a little more color balanced, exposure balanced. I'll bring up again the overblown footage. And you can see there's a big difference there. So this is the one that came right out of our phone into Premiere and exported. And this is the one where we modified the footage to the Rec 2020 color space. For reference, again, here is with the HDR off or the Rec 709 color space. And I definitely find this one on the left to be preferable to the other two. Certainly you can make adjustments to any of these to make them look the same, but I find adjusting the color space to Rec 2020 to be the easiest, most efficient workflow. If you have a lot of clips that you want to modify, you can easily shift click to include all the clips. I only have two in here right now, but you could do as many as you needed. And then you can control click and modify the footage, interpret the footage as needed. That's it. I know a lot of people have been struggling with this and I really hope that this helps you. You definitely have some options and of course if you don't enjoy editing in Premiere simply use another program like iMovie or an app on your phone to edit your footage. If you enjoyed this video I would love for you to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe below here so you never miss another video from me. Otherwise I'll be back soon with more video tips. See ya!